For those of you who don't know, there's this collab going on on YouTube called Vinland's Finest, where myself and a bunch of other fellow Vinland Saga connoisseurs come together to discuss our favorite chapters of Vinland Saga. I mean, it's a revelation in the manga industry, and in order to show our appreciation, we're all talking about it. Um, now, originally, I was kind of confused, and I thought this was going to be one big video with all these clips strung together, uh, but really, we're all just uploading these on our own separate individual channels, uh, so I'll link a playlist in the description where you can check out everyone else's contribution to this collab, but anyways, without further ado, enjoy my video on Vinland Saga chapters 161 through 164. What's up, it's Tia Dog Reviews, and today we're going to be talking about the greatest manga ever made, also known as Vinland Saga, more specifically chapters 161 through 164. Now, these four chapters might not be my favorite in the entire series, but they're definitely important to me, uh, because these chapters really take a break from the crazy action, and they really focus more on the character stories on a much smaller scale, and they're very important to the overarching narrative of Vinland Saga. For instance, all these chapters have to do with the relationships between different characters, and at the start of 161, Sigurd is really moving on from his ex-wife, Gudrid. And while that's going on, Gudrid is confessing her feelings to Thorfinn. And I'm not sure if I should make this comparison or not, but to me, uh, this really reminded me an awful lot of this scene from the GOAT Spider-Man 2, uh, where MJ confesses her feelings to Peter Parker, in the restaurant, um, and I'm a big Spidey fan, so, you know me, I kind of had, had to make that comparison there. These chapters are all really about closure, and they really tie up some of the loose ends from the previous arc, as well as setting up a bridge that goes to the next arc. And something I really like about these chapters is that Gudrid, Sigurd, and Thorfinn all reflect on themselves a little bit. Chapters 163 and 164 also really develop Sigurd as a character, and they really make him a much more sympathetic character. Whereas before in the series, he really either seemed like a total jerk, or an obstacle to the other characters. Throughout these four chapters, we really learn that Sigurd has always fought for the approval of his father, even if it means putting his own self-interest to the side. And by the end of chapter 164, we really see that Sigurd becomes much more of a leader, and he becomes more self-assured. And to me, all these chapters are really about characters getting out of someone else's shadow. Sigurd is trying to get out of the shadow of his father, Gudrid is trying to get out of the shadow of Sigurd, and Thorfinn is really just trying to get out of the shadow of who he once was. And I think this is really what Vinland Saga is all about, because even though there's crazy action in the series, revenge, and politics that drive the series, the main heart of the series is characters making amends with each other, or themselves. So that's why I think Vinland Saga chapters 161 through 164 are so significant, and that's of course one of the many, many reasons why Vinland Saga is quite simply the greatest manga ever created. Yo!